Hello guys, welcome back. I'm in the hide here again over the Vale of Buckinghamshire. I was here last time, 25 days ago. Two squirrels have been up on the trees and I'm sad to report there's been absolutely no visitors to either of those feeders. My only thought is these are actually proper wild squirrels here and they probably think anything made out of wood, man-made or metal is probably a trap so they're keeping well away from them. Uh, Dan has said however there are still plenty of squirrels wandering around so so 25 days ago I had 27, a um, bit optimistic today really but we'll see what happens. Um, just It's 5 o'clock in the morning I've just got here, it's still dark outside. I've just made me coffee, just made me porridge so um, I'll have that and then I'll open the flap gently and have a quick look around so might see you later on. Well, it's 5 o'clock I got set up and if you look on that clock now 6.13 for the first squirrel to come in. Well, 6.14 now. 70 yards away, the rifle was zero at 60. He looks like he's running for freedom, he's not. He drops down behind that tree and that's where he remained until I went to pick him up. So 6.14, that's an hour and a quarter I've been sat there with nothing happening. At 6.45 now, the second one comes into a reasonable range again, about 70 yards out, so he gets the same treatment and again does a bit of a runoff. Not very far, I do go and pick these up. That's the beauty of the picture in picture. You can actually see what you're doing. So another squawk from the pheasant. Very, very quiet. I don't know whether it was because they sensed the weather that was coming in. So I thought, time to have another coffee and a crosshair bun. And then all hell broke loose. I thought I was going to be blown out of that thing so anyway oh my god if you like rat shooting stick around I met a very nice bloke Gareth from Welsh Wales who sent me some stuff that he's been doing uh, Gareth was at the stalking show at the weekend this is one of his hides that he does squirrel shooting on if you're a rat fan just take a look at this is one of Gareth's farms that he shoots on in Wales I think secretly is actually the Prince of Wales because he seems to be shooting on most of the uh, Welsh farms from what I gather so this is just one of the farms obviously it's a cattle farm that Gareth shoots on so stick around there is some phenomenal rat shooting coming up just some equipment check there the black sun dark engine is the light that he uses and I hope you enjoy this shooting. Thank you very much, Gareth, and I will be coming over to Wales to do some shooting with you in the autumn.
So that's the last one on the Mark 1 Alpex and now this is the new Mark 2, the Alpex 2.0. Gareth was talking to me about this over at the Stalking Show. He absolutely loves it. The picture quality is brilliant. And again, he's using that same IR torch. Now I used mine at the weekend with a 940 torch and it was equally as good as the 850. So ideal for rat shooting because they are a bit wary of an 850 torch. So 940 isn't a problem. Now there's a good dart shot here. It never touches the wire. Some fantastic stuff there uh, going through that mesh fencing. Well done Gareth. And another one here again bites the dust. Well, the last one on the rats at night before we go over to the woods for a few clips of squirrel shooting with the Alpex 4K. I'm sure you'll enjoy that as well. I know Gareth loves it. Uh, a friend of his has also got one who I met at the show as well at the weekend. Be interesting to get people's comments on what they think of the menu on the left hand side. I have said to my contact at Hike that in the wrong lighting conditions that menu on the left is almost invisible. So um, if you've got any comments on that please stick it on here and I will forward it on to uh, the people in China. I think we could do with that menu being down the bottom along the bottom line of that screen with like the black shaded a125 up in the top right hand corner any thoughts on that please let's all gang up on them let's get this sorted out it's where it is on the left hand side it's pointless because you can't read it what do you reckon squirrel yeah he didn't like it either so there's a double coming up here now um, I've not seen this before and brilliant bit of shooting obviously being able to see the wider picture as Gareth can he saw that second one coming in he'll take care of the second one meanwhile the first one's still hanging around just nerves he's got his foot caught on something there but I think just to make sure he gives him another one I think the other one's still hanging there uh, to this day, but thank you very much for watching. Please give Gareth a bit of support, and I'll see you again soon.